What's up, guys, and welcome back to another reaction. This is Idiots with Gun by Casey Donahue. Uh, check them out on YouTube. I have no clue what we're going to see here. Um, <laughs> Idiots with Guns. Uh, so we're probably going to see some failures. Let's see what we've got. Idiots with Guns. All right. We got guys shooting. Did that guy take his hand off? All right, no, he's good. He's good. Proper shoulder. He's chicken winging it, which is fine if you're a uh, precision shooting. This is not a tactical thing you want to do. If you're in combat, you want to keep your elbow in. But if you're precision shooting, this helps stabilize your firearm. look at here it's going by pretty quick I just want to take a look here looks good those stances are good he's leaning back a little bit I would encourage him to lean forward just slightly just slightly this guy is looking good he's he brought the gun up to his eyes he brought the sights up to his eyes good he did the same thing outstanding Good solid kneeling stance right here. I'm liking that. <laughs> so they they're shooting tannerite guys. For those of you that don't know, um, these weapons do not explode on impact. Um, AR-15s and their platforms do not explode on impact. What happened is they had a can up here that he was shooting, and they put tannerite in that can, and tannerite is an explosive compound. When hit with a bullet, it will explode. And that's what we're seeing here. We forgot to tell Steve it was going to do that. <laughs> that's a dirty trick, man. <laughs> that is a dirty trick. I like it, though. That's good. That, that's a good humor trick on the, uh, on the shooting range. Nobody's in danger. Um, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Look at that face. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> they didn't tell him they loaded Tannerite in there. I love it. <laughs> he just mouthed it. What the fuck? <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't know who these folks are. I'm about to shoot Casey Donahue right in the face. Oh, that's a picture of the guy who uploaded this video. Alright. <laughs> they both brought their pistols up to their... Ooh. Oh, hey, look at that. I like that. Um, we're going to get back to that. So they both brought their sights up to their eyes, which is awesome. Watch this guy right here. He has a malfunction and he clears it and he keeps on shooting very very good so you can see there it went click which is the loudest sound in the world when you're shooting guns if it goes click and not boom you're gonna realize it real fast um, so he's like what the hell he's looking at it it looked like it he had a failure to eject um, that's what it looked like. Um, I don't know if he's out, but the slide is not racked. There's not locked to the rear. So I'm guessing the magazine still has rounds in it. If the magazine is out and it did not lock to the rear, then that means his magazine probably has a worn spring in it. Um, let's see what he does to clear it and continue shooting. There you go. Did you see that, guys? So he brought it down. He kept the barrel pointing straight at the, or he kept, not straight, but he kept it pointed down range. Brought it down. He racked back to clear that obstruction inside the chamber, that round that did not extract and um, eject. And now he's bringing it up to continue on. The only criticism I have about that is he should have done that with the gun up here in his workspace. 
That way you're not looking down and say somebody's coming at you, the last thing you want to do is look down while you're trying to clear a malfunction because now you've taken your eyes off the target. If you bring the gun up to your face and you clear the tar or you clear that uh, malfunction, you're keeping your eyes on the target in your peripheral. It might be a little blurry because you're focusing on your gun or you're focused on the target and your gun is going to be blurry. But you bring that gun up to your workspace, you rack back, clear that obstruction, tap that magazine to make sure it's fully seated, and then you go right back to firing. Which he does. He goes right back to firing. Very good clearing. Just a minor thing. Keep your, keep your firearm up in your workspace, buddy. That's the only criticism, criticism I've got of that. Not bad shooting either. And that guy, not so much. <laughs> he missed Casey altogether. What the hell, man? You've been waiting for a long time to do this and you missed him? Shame. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Dishonor on your family. <laughs> Another Tannerite shot. Nice. Look at that grin. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Alright, I, I do want to point that out. So this guy's rapid firing. And you, you'll see, watch the gun jump. And this is why I always tell people, if you're going to shoot, take your time. Acquire your target, get your proper sight alignment, and fire off one shot at a time. Make every shot count. If you were to rapid fire like this at a bad guy, I guarantee you almost every single one of them shots would have missed. And every single one of them shots would have cost him at least a million dollars in civil court. At least. He fired off, what, six shots? That's six million dollars at the very least. Think about that. You are legally responsible for every round that comes out of that firearm. You are legally responsible for every round that hits. All right. Um, don't rapid fire. I mean, out here on the range, not a big deal. But don't get into the practice of rapid firing. You're not doing yourself any favor. Uh, double tap. Go ahead and do your double taps. Uh, do your double tap drills. Double tapping is perfectly fine if you're on target and the first shot goes where it's supposed to go. Um, rapid firing like this is just a bad idea, but they're out here on the range, they're having fun, so let's continue. <laughs> so I don't know if you were watching. Uh, we'll go back to this guy. What I want you to pay attention to is, I want you to pay attention to the muzzle. And this is why I, I don't understand why certain group of people want to make it harder to rapid fire. So if you watch this muzzle, it's all over the place, which means he's not hitting his target, or not very well. And at a distance, at I mean, this is probably, what, 25 feet, maybe? If you push that out to 50, 100, 200, um, those rounds, uh, just think about the simple um, trajectory of those bullets, right? So let's say this round, the first round hits right here. The second round, he's up and to the right. It's going to hit right here. Another 50 yards out. It's going to hit way over here, even though he was aiming right here. Uh, maybe that second round goes low, hits right here. 50 yards out, he's hitting way down here, even though he was aiming right here. Um, so yeah, j just watch how this muzzle dances. And that's why I'm a proponent of... It, how do I put it? I don't think that things like bump stocks should be banned because they don't help your accuracy. All they do is ensure that you go through rounds really quickly. Doesn't mean you're going to hit jack shit. <laughs> it just means you're going to go through rounds quickly. And yeah, it, whatever. Let's, let's watch, watch the barrel. 
What? 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 Just watch it dance. <laughs> it was all over the place. Hey, dude, you missed your ten, right? You missed again. You missed again. You're low. <laughs> You're high into the right. High into the right. There you go. <laughs> Hey, it happens to the best of us, man. That's a small target downrange. It really is. The targets become really, really small when you're looking down the sights. Oh, and that's the end of the video. All right, cool. So, <laughs> um, hey, go ahead and hit up, um, what was this guy's name? Casey Donahue. Go hit up his channel. Give it a thumbs up. Put down, give him some comments, show him some love. I know this video is like 11 years old, but uh, go show him some love, anyways. Let him uh, thank him for uh, providing us entertainment. <laughs> All right. If you like this video, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe, be cool, and have fun. We'll catch you in the next one. Oh, yeah.